Hi folks, today we're going to take a look at a Blackfin center console that was just introduced this past year, the 332. I think you're going to really like this incredible fishing machine. In a minute we're going to let Bill Elliott from Hankel Marine take over and show you what this incredible boat can do. Hey, good morning. My name is Bill Elliott and we're here at Hankel Marine and I was going to give you a quick walkthrough on Blackfin's 33 foot center console. They just debuted this boat for 2019 and uh, this was the first one we had. You may have seen it at some of the other boat shows, uh, but it's, a, it's 33 feet, 2 inches long. It's got a 10-6 beam. Uh, max horsepower rating on it is 900 and it's got a fuel capacity of 315 gallons. Uh, it is yacht certified, so there's no max carrying capacity as long as you've got life jackets for everyone. Uh, the boat does weigh over 10,000 pounds. Uh, so on this, on this particular one, we've powered it with Yamaha's 425s, the new uh, 425s they just came out with last year or so. And they'll push this boat at a little over 60 mile an hour, even, uh, even loaded for fishing. Uh, They've got enough torque to, to push the weight of this boat and uh, the weight of the boat obviously helps uh, with its ride and the way it sits in the water. Uh, the boat comes standard with a port side boarding, um, boarding access and let's go ahead and jump on the boat and walk through it a little bit. Here on the transom area you notice we've got a uh, a lot of fishability back here. There's plenty of room. Even though we've got a very large console and leaning post area, uh, there's still plenty of room for four guys to fish back here behind this uh, in the in the cockpit area. The, uh, the bait station and, and leaning post area. You've got a raw water wash down sink right here with tackle storage. You got a fresh water wash down over here, again with a sink here for more tackle storage. In the center is a Live well. It's even got a little clear, clear glass on the front, so you can check on your bait while you're just running all the way out there. Obviously, it works really well as a cooler as well. But cooler storage is not an issue uh, down here below. We've got two Yetis that pull out. So one for fish and one for hopefully cold waters or drinks. And then right down the center. Heaven forbid we have to throw our trash away in a trash can. The Yetis also provide a step all the way up to your, on top of your T-top. If down the road you're doing your own maintenance on outriggers or radars or down the road even putting a tower up there, your access is right here on the back. They've got easy access to on top of the T-top. Uh, again, for maintenance or, or future add-ons or second stations. Again, across the back of the transom with Yamaha's um, 425s, the steering cylinders are built into the bracket, so the whole transom is enclosed. There's no splash well, which makes a very clean entry, um, you know, by boarding on either port side or off this side. Uh, People can easily walk across the back. Actually, it works real well for divers because uh, you can sit across the back, kick your fins on or off just before you uh, jump overboard. Also, we've got a 30 gallon live well here, again, with the see through. It's a good pressurized live well. Uh, you can fill it all the way up to the top, run all the air out so your bait's not getting sloshed around too much going out. And then the lid of the, of the live well is also your cutting board. We do have seating across the back. Blackfin is uh, is known, I, you know, I mentioned earlier the boat's over 10,000 pounds. They build the snot out of this boat. I mean, just the hardware alone for a, a seat back is, uh, I mean, that's got to be 100 pounds worth of stainless right there. That's just, uh, you know, they overbuild everything uh, because they know that these customers, they do treat their equipment rough sometimes, or at least the ocean does. Uh, Blackfin also does all their cushions in-house. They take great pride in their upholstery. Um, it's really nice for us as a dealership because if you have a 
port side bow cushion blowout or something happens or gets ripped and you order another one, it's not Hankel Marine calling Blackfin who's calling a third party and then the starboard side one comes in and it's the wrong color. We don't go through that kind of mess. Blackfin has it right there either on the shelf or they start stitching it for you right then and they'll get it to you right the first time. So, And they do a really, really good job on their upholstery. Once stowed, we have access to the bilge. In the 33, the sea chest is standard. Again, for all our fishermen out there, we're picking up that water as we're running uh, offshore, and it's going into here before it goes in the live well so that our live wells are getting good, clean water. It's good and aerated, but it's not foamy. Uh, access to everything uh, in, in the Yamaha boats, my separators are here, my gas pump bulbs are here. Uh, my bilge pumps are right back there. So getting into my bilge is really, really easy to do maintenance. It's good, clean, finished off bilge. Really nicely done by Blackfoot. They also, there's their fish boxes. There's one on port and starboard. Nice, big, deep boxes that run pretty good ways up there. So they're, they're really, really good fish boxes. Completely foam filled, uh, really well insulated. I know I'm sounding petty, but I love to kick down cleats. I can just step them down. Once it closes, I just step on the cleat and it closes the latch. There's no more uh, kicking stuff that gets left up. <laughs> As we work our way up here to the helm, you'll see in this boot, again, I mentioned the beam is 10-6. So here at the helm, I've got three seats across, all bolstered. For everyone's comfort it's even electric for those that are uh got short legs maybe more vertically challenged yeah. and make sure we're good and comfort comfortable and again for those that are vertically challenged there's even a step that comes down to help you get up high so that your visibility is up higher you can get and see over that bow real well uh, it's not an issue that i usually have but there are customers who run into that <laughs> This boat, we've equipped it with Garmin, uh, dual Garmins, also Yamaha's Helm Master with set point um, so that uh, you can do your bottom fishing or easy docking uh, and gives you full control of everything going on in the boat. Also, we'll have Yamaha's electronic steering and partnered with the 425s uh, as well as their gauge package and everything else. Uh, the options that are on the boat, you can choose between Garmin, Raymarines, or we can order it blank and put in whatever, whatever you like. Um, let's see, as we move forward, we'll go into the console here. In the console, because it is very large, you'll see Blackfin's unique door that allows a very wide entry down here into the console. And here, I'll step down in there, Rory, real quick. So in the console, we've got a full porcelain marine head storage for our bow table even got rod storage in here so that I can put my rods in here for traveling or for storage at the dock and then of course sink with a shower wash down and then all my electronics the other thing that's really nice for guys who know how to do their own maintenance is I do have full access to the back side of the console where I can get in there and get to everything and do easy maintenance in a tight spot all right, then back here, on, again, we're on the starboard side. In the back, we've got rod storage here so that uh, you can get the stuff while you're out, actually out there fishing. Uh, and then they're, they've got great hardware all the way down the side to include cup holder, rod holders, all standard in the boat, all the way up to here, at least in, from the drinking section back. Um, and then we actually have lockable rod storage. So if you are keeping it pier side or on the lift, I do have storage for tackle, reels, and I can put some rods in there and, and, uh, and kind of lock those away for the evening. As we continue forward, you'll notice standard black fin, bow seating, all good big wide cushions. This bolster here actually stores, stores away for fishing when you're, uh, when you're not using it as a backrest. And then when you do need it for backrest for entertaining, it just moves up here. Look at all that hardware. This thing weighs about 50 pounds. But when it's in there, it's not going anywhere. 
you know, Blackfin, I talked about their upholstery. They do some really good stuff. And usually this class of boat, um, they do a good job of focusing on the details, little things that matter. For example, I've got storage under here. A lot of boats I'd have to remove or unsnap the cushion to get in there. It's not the case. The cushion is all snapped directly onto the lid. So I've got good access to storage and I don't have to pick up or move the cushion. They even left a little bit of a gap so that it doesn't bind when you're picking up on it. It's those little attention to detail things that Blackfin has really focused in on and, uh, and done a great, great job of. This boat does come with a kind of a coffin box lounge area. So good big um, cup holders. Look at the stainless steel there on the sides. You know, everything on this boat is just really, really well built and uh, about, as, about as sturdy as it can get. Inside, you got plenty of storage, rooms for buckets, lines, more hoses, and then you can either use it as a fish box or just, you know, storage there for, as we've got it there for fenders and lines and stuff like that for shows. Additionally, plenty of room down in the bow for additional storage. This one you wouldn't use as a fish box, um, it, but it does have its own bilge pump down in there, but plenty of storage there. And then just like on all the other black fins as well, the windlass is standard. Standard windlass with a spot for a, a stern anchor or fortress anchor with a fresh water wash down up on the bow. And uh, that's about all for the Blackfin 332. Uh, again, come see us at Hankel Marine. We'd love to throw it in the water and uh, show you what these boats are made of because they really, really are impressive. Blackfin uh, has a great warranty. Uh, they've, it's lifetime hull, 10 years on deck and gel coat, three years on their cushions. Uh, they do a really, really good job of backing their product. They realize they're trying to break into a market that's really tough but they're definitely putting their money where their mouth is as far as getting in there. So come see us at Hankel Marine and uh, check out all the Blackfin lineup. Thank you.